pretty much me, to me, at least, that we need to be compassionate even while we're administering justice. Um, I'm a law student and I'm a paralegal and I'm a historian and uh, I'm saying this within the concept of the George Floyd murder. Um, obviously that officer needed to go to prison for murder and all of the other crimes are very clear from the evidence. Um, I do believe that uh, the jurors, when they considered their um, all of the evidence in the case, they were thinking compassionately too because you can't always, you can't punish somebody. Justice. You have to bring them to justice fairly and compassion. Okay, so I think compassion to me is like a feeling of warmth. That's how I feel it. It's like a feeling of warmth in my heart. Yeah. Uh, and like a, a sense of understanding of other people and the way that we're all I think one thing that makes com makes for compassion is when two people are interacting and they realize they have very large differences of opinions or values, and yet each of them still recognizes the human goodness of the other. So for me, compassion is like trying to understand people's point of view and like trying to care about others. A lot of times in my day to day, when we see people, especially strangers, we don't really care for them. I feel like we're so driven by ourselves and being selfish that we don't have compassion for others. So for me, compassion is giving empathy and caring about other people and trying to see them their perspective instead of just thinking about you. Uh, there's this article I uh, really like a lot. It was written by the uh, activist and the state of politics author's name is Fred Benjamin. Uh, you wrote an article about the political philosopher and linguist uh, Noam Chomsky called When Noam Chomsky Wept. Uh, he uh, first encountered Noam Chomsky when they were usually in Laos and Indochina, China um, learning about and uh, protesting the United States bombing of the area, um, primarily of peasants, uh, older people, women, children, um, but under the guise of eliminating communism or some other uh, sort of red pariah. Um, his role there was to uh, guide Noam Chomsky around the region and show him exactly what was being done so Noam could go back to the United States and report from that uh, in, in his uh, political writings. Um, and he refers to mom one moment where he took uh, Noam to a certain village that had been uh, you know, massacred, destroyed, demolished by uh, United States bombings built entirely of peasants and refugees were recounting their experiences of the bombings, what life was like for them now. Um, and Fred Benjamin looked over and saw uh, Noam weeping uh, in tears. Um, and he contrasted this with the experience of lots of other journalists that he had taken to the region um, to uh, show them just what was being done in Laos, um, where they would go from their hotels, park down uh, the atrocities they had seen in shorthand, uh, drive back to their chauffeurs, talk about what they were going to have for dinner that night, and then go to sleep soundly. Um, no one else had ever reacted as if they cared. There have been others who uh, clearly were interested in intellectual understanding, but no one else who um, had taken that suffering on as their own. Um, so I guess I see that as compassion. It's not just intellectual knowledge of uh, another person's suffering or um, even the action itself against eliminating that suffering. It's taking on that suffering as uh, one's own and acting with that personal felt knowledge um, of another person's pain.